We're in Purple Galano's cockpit and uh, just took apart what was on the center console pedestal, uh, the instrument cluster for the compass, which I have removed since it was leaking. We're going to put a new compass in and I need a cup holder too. So this is the general area here. Uh, it is missing, of course, its console where the compass was sitting right in here. Um, and I made a new one, something a little bit more artistic in design. This is uh, plywood, so it's been cut out into an aesthetic shape. Uh, we've got space for my mugs and for the handles and my cups. And there will be a hole here in the center for the compass, which will get installed. So we're letting that, just painted it, and we're going to let that dry and uh, we'll do an install. And there's the new console with the compass installed. Just gonna screw her down. I think so. Guys at uh, Ace Hardware, were, I met the guy that was, was restocking the shelves. Mm -hmm. And he helped me out get this. He found this stuff real quick for me. So. This is Heinz, and Heinz introduced us to, uh, to what's now Purple Gallon. Today we're helping Heinz, and I'm going to go up to his mast, because I'm tired of climbing our mast. The lines on the side here, of what I did by myself, I tied them to the shrouds, left okay. and right, to prevent so it has a little bit of rigidity. Let's see what it uh, turns right. out to be like, you know. Because it is a bit wobbly, I have to admit. It's not ideal. Just a mast light for purple galanule and it comes with these tabs but the tabs are flat and the mast itself is curved uh, so I need to be able to bend these to wrap around the mast so I'm using a blowtorch butane blowtorch to heat the plastic soften it much like a heat gun and we'll get this uh, we'll get this shaped up to fit the mast And here is what we're ending up with. Perfect. Uh, this morning we are replacing the deck light um, and the uh, steaming light. So this is the steaming light. You light this up if you're traveling at night to let boats know you're moving. And this is a deck light underneath um, that shines down. This will sit right on the mast. That and shines down, light up the deck. 
Uh, we have three wires coming out of here. Um, two common blacks, these are the negatives. Uh, and we have a white wire. The white wire runs the deck light positive. The red wire runs the steaming light positive. Uh, when I was up, going up on the, on the, um, on the mast, uh, what we've realized is there's three wires up there. Uh, two are encased in insulation. And those are actually both considered positive wires. Um, didn't realize that, but doing some tests here on the mast with a voltmeter, um, if you take the negative wire and touch it to the mast and take the positive wire and touch it to any one of these wires, insulated wires in here, uh, you, have a, you have a connection. So the, the mast is grounded to the battery, to the negative terminal of the battery. So uh, what we'll do is take this wire here. There's a wire leading out on the mast from the mast. It's bolted onto the mast, screwed onto the mast. Um, that'll be our negative wire. And that'll, that will run both of the negative wires for the deck light and the steaming light. And the positive wire, one of the positives in the encased wire, which runs down the tube of the mast, will go to the white wire for the deck wire, for the deck light wire. And the other positive wire will be uh, attached to the other wire in here. So we've got, yeah, I've got these two wires coming down out of the mast. So uh, we'll get that done. I'm getting the connectors put on right now. Uh, these are these are good little connectors here. Um, your heat shrink, just flip right on there. Stick that in. And clamp down. And the other side will be connected once I get up there on the mast. So now these are heat shrink. They're heat shrink, so I can just hit them with the torch. Do that. And just and there's a glue inside as they shrink. It adheres the wire in a waterproof seal. So we got one there. 